One of the main things I remember from elementary school were the trendy toys that came and went throughout the years. In specific, I can remember four different things that were really popular among my grade at specific times, and I'm pretty sure in all four of these cases, sort of black markets were established between them, or there was some weird story with each one of them, and there were different cases where people were selling and trading these things, and it was pretty crazy. And I scroll through Instagram a lot, and I've realized that most people have never had an original thought in their life, apparently. Sometimes I'll be scrolling and I'll find some random meme, and I'm like, hey, I thought I was the only person on the planet that did that, and then I see it as 100,000 likes and everyone else does it too, so I wouldn't be surprised if anyone else on the planet has experienced these same things or something similar, or their school when they were in elementary school had something similar to this, but... I'm going to break down these four different stories, and later in the video I'll switch to a face cam to do a more sentimental and in-depth part where I'll actually show some of the remnants of these eras. So first of all, the biggest one of them all, Pokemon cards. I mean, they still exist, they're still popular, they've been popular for over 20 years now. These things, I really like them, and I still do to this day. But among all of the other things, the trendy toys and all that that became popular in my school, these were just always there in the background or in the foreground. They never really fell out of popularity. I can always remember from every single year times where people were bringing Pokemon cards into school and times where people were trading them and all that kind of stuff. As far back as kindergarten and as recent as fifth grade, and of course I'm only talking about elementary school here, but one of the earliest memories I have of Pokemon cards in school was this trade I tried to make with one of my first friends I ever met in school. We essentially tried to orchestrate this little sneaky trade where he would give me this one Jolteon card and I would give him... I, I honestly don't remember, but... For some reason, I ended up telling my teacher that we were going to do this, and then what did she say? Well, she said that trading isn't allowed in school, so as far as I remember, we never actually did that trade. I don't know why we even listened. She wouldn't have found out if we did do it, and I also don't know why schools always have such a problem with kids bringing stuff in and kids trading stuff and, you know, people enjoying themselves, but I'm not even going to ask. Anyway, later on, there's lots of stories to tell of Pokemon cards. I mean, I can't remember any times where people actually bought Pokemon cards off of each other, but there were lots of trades that went on. I don't remember any that happened between two people that weren't me, but as early as fifth grade, I can remember there was a couple times where I traded people cards for toys, but they were also Pokemon toys. I believe I traded someone... This one Mega Blaziken card, and he gave me a couple figures from Pokemon card collection boxes, all of which I still have. There was also some stupid trades I made. I mean, honestly, looking back, I don't even know if that was a good trade. Yeah, I like the figures, but I'd rather have the cards still. I think there might have been a time where I even gave cards away for free. But there was lots of times where I traded cards, too. One uh, specific memory I have, though... This card here, this Mega Galady X Full Art from Roaring Skies, I assume, I think that set came out around 6, or maybe it was actually 8. If it was 8, I'm, I'd be pretty sad. If it was 8 years ago, I guess I was in, I don't feel like doing math, probably 4th grade. I pulled that card once and I brought it into school and then someone tried to steal it from me and then I like cried and then they gave it back, so that was kind of interesting. Also, this Lugia Hollow card here, I've had it for a while. The same exact thing happened once. I'm pretty sure someone... It might have been the same exact person. They stole the card from me, and they were running around with it, but then they eventually gave it back. Also, this Reshiram card right here, I gave it to someone 
all the way back when I was in kindergarten, so well over a decade ago now. And they actually did give it back to me because I'm, they didn't steal it, but I don't think we traded either. I think I just gave it to them for no reason. But they ended up giving it back to me in fifth grade, so I guess like five years later. And the condition they gave it back in was absolutely horrendous. So I'll show it off later in the video when I get to that part. But yeah, I mean, even though Pokemon was like probably the biggest thing of these four things I want to talk about, the stories around it aren't really the craziest. It was just kind of the trend that was just always kind of there in some way. People were always bringing cards in, or at least from what I remember, because I know I always was and my friends liked them and I liked them and I still do. But moving on, honestly, I don't really remember what kind of uh, little economies we had going in first or second or third grade, other than just Pokemon cards being popular. But I remember specifically in fourth grade, and this might reawaken some dark memory in anyone that might be watching this. In fourth grade, people started bringing in these things, Shopkins. I don't know if they still exist or not, but yikes. This one, I hated this when this happened because I remember Pokemon cards were there. They were so big. And then all of a sudden, people started bringing in Shopkins for no reason at all, and it started taking over Pokemon cards as a big trend. And I was like, why are we getting rid of Pokemon cards for this stupid girly stuff? That's so dumb. And at first, it was just girls doing it. But then, weirdly, th this is kind of weird. So essentially, after some time, the boys started all kind of pretending that they liked Shopkins and all the girls would pretend to be putting spells on the boys and forcing them to like Shopkins. And eventually, near the end of fourth grade, literally everyone was going crazy over Shopkins, including the boys and the girls were giving boys their little Shopkins characters. And I remember specifically making a vow to never own a Shopkin, but at some point I ended up getting one from someone and I felt pretty disappointed in myself for falling under the Shopkins curse. I'm pretty sure we called it that. Like, I remember me and some of my friends, we were all really scared that we would get infected. And we'd fall under this curse that makes you like Shopkins and girls toys. And we'd all be trying to avoid it at all times. But I'm pretty sure we all ended up getting one eventually. I don't think I have the one that I got. I don't even remember what it was. I just know I got one at some point. And it was a really weird scenario. It's just like it kind of came in out of nowhere, took over Pokemon as a trend. People were trading them. The boys pretended to be crazed over it. And then they kind of just became fans of it because of that. And then it just became a huge thing. And then by the next year, it was literally gone like it never happened. And to this day, I don't think I've heard a single person talk about this. And I've never even brought it up to anyone ever since then. So, a bit of a fever dream there. But anyway, the next year in fifth grade, this might also bring back some goofy memories, but fidget spinners came out around this time, so they were obviously really big. And people were trading them, collecting them, showing off all that goofy stuff. And honestly, other than Pokemon... I didn't really like any of the trends that ever happened. I loved Pokemon. When the Shopkins thing happened, I was really mad. When Fidget Spinners came around, I was like, okay. I mean, I liked them as toys. I just didn't like them as a trend in school because honestly, I got a lot of Fidget Spinners back in the day. Like I, I would get them like every single weekend from 7-Eleven. I just really piled up a collection of them. I still have some of them, so I'll probably be showing them off later in the video, which will be kind of silly, but I'll be doing it anyway. And the thing about fidget spinners, after a while, it might have been towards the end of the year in fifth grade, they kind of fell out of popularity because something else came to take its place, which was slime. And this was something that I really hated, just like the Shopkins thing, probably because they're both, I guess, girlier things, and I was upset about that for some reason. So slime, that was a big thing back then. People would, I believe you would have to mix like glue and 
oobleck or something. Some, like, little kitchen stuff. You whip up some slime, put different colors in it, and then make your own slime. I don't remember any boys ever making their own, but I know there's a couple girls that would make their own slime and then bring it in and actually sell it. Because I remember we went on a field trip towards the end of fifth grade, and someone was, like, selling slime on the bus. Yeah, so this is, like, the closest we ever really got to actual money being involved, because I don't remember it ever happening any other time. Usually it was just people trading the toys with each other, but... I do remember people actually buying and selling slime off of each other. But honestly, I might be getting it misconstrued because I think there was times where people were selling fidget spinners too. But I do remember specifically, especially on that fifth grade field trip on that bus ride, people were actually just like doing deals with each other, selling slime for some reason. So I think that might have been actually the reason why I didn't like that one because money was getting involved. So... I guess I was pretty disappointed of that happening instead of just people trading stuff because I was so used to just Pokemon being cool and trading those cards. But yeah, there's never been a thing like that ever since then because obviously things get less fun once you get into middle school and high school, so we've never really had anything like that. But it's always nice to reflect on elementary school when we had stuff like Pokemon cards, Shopkins slime and fidget spinners even though I hated most of it. So as promised I want to look at some of these things from those eras. So obviously starting with Pokemon. First of all this is that Jolteon I was talking about. I remember this was the specific Jolteon that I tried to orchestrate that deal with someone with back in uh, <clears throat> kindergarten. This card is from 2011 so I definitely was in kindergarten at that time, or actually I think this is from before then, but this card obviously did exist at that time. I don't know if this is the actual one I did that trade with because as I said, I don't think that trade actually happened. I just know I have this card now and this was the card that I would have traded for that my teacher didn't let me. And another card I want to show off, I have to flip through this binder here to find it. But if you recall, I mentioned a Reshiram card that I gave to someone back in kindergarten as well. And then they ended up giving back giving it back to me like five years later, and it was in horrendous condition. So here's the card here, actually. First of all, here's the front. Uh it's like folding like paper, which is not good for Pokemon cards, if you don't know. And uh the big reveal for the back. This is, this is a PSA 10 right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, like a PSA 0 if they do that. I really don't know how, how you could possibly do this to a card. I never asked the person what they did to it or how they managed to just completely de-ink the back of it. I've never seen this before. They must have, like, put it in a washer 10 times in a row or something. It's just terrible. Like, this is the worst condition I've ever seen a card in. But I have it back, I guess, so that's pretty cool. I don't even know why I bother to keep it. I guess because it's a little artifact of the era or something. And I have another card, too. I've got to reach back here to get it. It's in a little case, but this is that Lugia I was talking about. It's one of my favorite cards I own, so it's in this glass thing. But if you'll see the back, you'll see it's kind of damaged too. But this is the one I was talking about when I said someone stole it from me, so... Yeah, I mean, I have it back too, so that's good. So I, uh, searched through this little bin of old souvenirs. Not souvenirs, but toys here. And I found three. Well, actually four, but I'm only going to show three, because two of them are identical. But I found three fidget spinners that I still have from the time. I thought I had more than this, or at least I thought I kept more than this. I don't know where the others are. The ones I couldn't find that I know I still have are this one light up one, this one glow in the dark. Actually, I got rid of the light up one, but I have this one glow in the dark one, which is probably my favorite one I ever got, so I don't know where that even went. But also this one just solid blue one. 
But the ones I did find are this Miami Dolphins one. I'll get a little, oh, okay, cool. Um, this yellow one, which I have two of for some reason, the other one is covered in some strange goopy substance, so I decided not to pull it out. Um, and then this cool serrated tie-dye one. So, uh, yeah, there's a very, uh, nostalgic visual. I don't know if you would call five years ago nostalgic. Actually, 2017 was six years ago, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's the only ones I could find. I know I have more than this, but I literally have no idea where they are. Oh, that's cool. A Minecraft thing. I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know where they went. Also, that one Shopkin I said I have, don't know where it went. And the whole slime thing, I never got into that garbage, so I don't have any of that. And even if I did, it would probably be completely solidified into a crystalline, indestructible substance right now. So, I didn't get involved in that. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. The last time I uploaded a video like this... It got a decent amount of views, and then I uploaded a different video last week, and it got like 10, and then I was big sad. So, I'm gonna do one like the one I uploaded two weeks ago again, and I'll probably just start doing stuff like this every week now, where I just talk about random nostalgic or stuff from the past. And then I come into face cam, and I just show it off and go more in-depth about it. But yeah, that's all for this video, so thanks for watching.